I don't think a week goes by that we don't read about a member of the uh, legislature, whether it's in the Senate or in the Assembly, that isn't being, um, isn't being uh, subpoenaed, isn't being convicted, isn't being investigated uh, for wrongdoing and corruption. It's really, uh, it's really terrible. And I believe that most people, when they're elected to the Assembly, whether they're Democrat or Republicans, go there for the right reason. But for whatever happens down there, it, uh, power corrupts and, and, it, and it corrupts. There's no question about it. What I would do is this. There's a bill there right now by Leader Kolb that, that, that requires there be transparency in the way we fund our, the way we take money, the way we raise money and fund our campaigns. Uh, that needs to be done. Any wrongdoing, any corruption, any conviction of, uh, of uh, wrongdoing and corruption should be, uh, their pension should be forfeited. They shouldn't, those people who are convicted should not receive the pension. In addition to that, they should go to jail. They shouldn't be exempt, of, exempt from any of that. They should uh, commit a crime. If it's a crime, they should go to jail. And uh, there should be term limits on leadership positions. So those people in power don't stay in power for years and years. A good example is right now is uh, the Speaker of the Assembly, Mr. Silver. He's been there for over 20 years. He's secure, squarely in power. He, uh, we all know what happened to Michael Bragman. Anybody that opposes him, they they're out the door. One way or another, they're gone. We need to find a way to be able to make serving in the, in the legislature an honorable thing. And you know what else we need to do? We need to make sure that each legislator is held to a higher standard. That's the important thing. They need to be role models for our students that we just talked about a few minutes ago.